Welcome to Limit Break, Gorgeous Moon, and today, ooh, Empty Tome. Crown. Oh, they are both really good. I think I will go for Empty Tome. Yeah, okay. Today we are trying to do Limit Break, Gorgeous Moon, and we will have a bunch of resets, but probably a lot of cuts as well, where I just skip forward until it works out. So let's get some ground rules in. We can't take Wicked Season that I usually take in these videos because Christine wouldn't survive this, okay? You can forget about this. Do you see how long it takes to blast off again? A very long time. Next up, why does Limit Ray Gorgeous Moon work all of a sudden? Well, it got fixed in the latest update. Eventually, if you got too high, it would just break and it, it was just bonkers, okay? It's not that it stopped going off. It was just entirely weird. So now we can do it. For me, this is on the beta. For you, if you are not on the beta, then you will receive the update on the 2nd of September. Okay, I'm just walking around. This should be where the pentagram goes off. Yeah. Ooh. So from past experience, there are only two scenarios that effectively work. Otherwise, you gamble wasting too much time. Number one, you get a blast on minute one that doesn't erase. And the chance for that is 10% multiplied with 1.4. So 14% chance, that is not that bad, right? That is a, roughly a 1 in 6 to 7. The other option is to get two levels into Pentagram and then I give it usually two goes where I check if I get experience, where I try to get it to level 3. And if I don't, then I reset. So expect that we will see a ton of resets and skips as well until we get to a point where Pentagram doesn't erase anymore but instead kills. The main ways to do that is, well, just leveling up Pentagram. The alternative is also getting Clover. Empty Tome is also good just to have more blasts. Oh, would have been great if we had this on first try, you know. Well, first try after doing the strategy that I'll go for. Anything else that is worthy to mention? We can't break these. Maybe Moon can? I don't think so. Maybe it can break the cards, but I also don't think so. Well, it wouldn't even help us if we could. So I'm just walking around, if you get a chest here then I just run away and keep it on the floor. The problem is, I can't pick up the experience, because if I level up, get pentagram, then I would wipe the chest. So what I have to do in that case is, walk down to the vacuum, pick it up and get the experience that way. Yeah, that will still wipe out a lot of the experience, but I rather want to have a guaranteed level 3 pentagram than risking that we don't get anything out of it, you know? Like, for example, in two level ups, first one, I don't take it to keep the experience. <gasps> where, where, where's the experience? Wait, what? Where, I, uh, where, where's the chest, I mean? I got scammed! No, it's only a chance to get the chest! Oh, no! Yeah, we did wipe out the rest of the experience, so that's great. Wow, I totally forgot about that. So all in all, what else do we need on Christine? Okay, there are a couple things that we could do. One, if it's too bad, eventually I can decide to go for Laurel. That is just a rule that I'm giving myself. Number two, we'll just go for a super tanky build and then we'll pick up the rest that is on the stage. Maybe I will even pick up the armor right now when I need it. The thing is the enemies will eventually become so fast that I can't really outrun them. And I also don't want to run around for, I don't know, 12 minutes and do absolutely nothing. You know, it's, it's really boring. My goal is still to get to a very high level and, spoilers, Gorgeous Moon when limit broken. Oh, oh, come on. Gorgeous Moon when limit broken increases the amount of experience that you get from the enemies. So our level will be insane. Ouch. Okay, careful there. There's the next boss. If we could get a kill here instead of an erase, that would mean- Oh, I did a mistake. You need to keep the group of enemies behind you. If you walk away too far, they despawn and then they spawn around you like new mobs. It's not that they teleport. And that is the most effective way to keep them in check, that they don't damage you. Okay, there we go. Pentagram, I know you don't like working with me sometimes, but it would be great if you could kill here. Kill, not erase. Come on, my friend. Did I forget mentioning anything? Well, if I forgot it, then feel free to ask questions if you see something that doesn't make too much sense. There's also a good chance that I'm just missing something that would be incredibly good. Oh, Talking about the obvious, uh, yeah, Divine Bloodline, I kind of totally forgot about that. It's kind of funny because it came to my mind the moment I said that I'm missing something. We will just go for this one, then maybe Wicked Season, then Silent Old Sanctuary or the other way around or something. But I will reset until I get Pentagram offered right away. Okay, there we go. Now, oh, did I, I, I saved it. 
Oh my god, that is worth so much experience. Okay, amazing. Now, just before you say that this will be super duper easy, it still won't be easy. Okay, I need to reroll here. Oh, come on, really? Oh, really? Really? <laughs> okay. It still won't be easy since we have no way of recovering HP. Like, we do retaliation damage, sure, but we also kind of need to recover it. So, Pumarola could be a way to go, maybe? Yeah, that might be good. God, this is actually, this is actually not so nice. Um, hmm, crown? Oh my god, there it is. I only have one reroll left. Okay, well, that didn't really help, did it? Okay, as stupid as it sounds, I actually think the way we were doing it was better. Like, just hoping for the right chance, but then having silent old Saint Cherry. Like, <laughs> I'm not doing anything here. Okay, so I'm pretty much on the last attempt here. I tried it a bunch of times, we have it level 3 now. I will hope for the best, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, okay? I was also considering running over to the arrow, maybe to the armor and get them. Like, the arrow could give us bonus HP regeneration, but it's so minimal. Like, we take so much damage whenever we bump into the enemies, just for a teeny tiny bit of experience. It definitely doesn't seem worth it. Hmm, I just had an interesting idea. We could use our HP to maybe kill the boss with retaliation. But I think he's too tanky for that or something. Like, I'm not sure. Uh, armor? Okay, yeah, not bad. Increased retaliation damage as well. It could be interesting because I could try to gamble for a penta chest. There would be five level ups into pentagram. So we would have one, two from the get go. Then we get a penta chest to seven. Oh, th this would be so painful. Do I really want to do that? Okay, so I gave up on the other arcana. What? There was not even a level up with double growth? What? What? Wait, what? So I gave up on the retaliation arcana. There may be ways on how you could do it, but I couldn't figure out a way. And the problem is, once you are maxed out, you're pretty much at a worse state than we are at right now, since you can't just easily recover the health, but you're missing a ton of cooldown reduction. And I talked about the panda chest from the minute one boss. I did check the code to know the odds, and it's a 0% chance for a panda chest, a 0% chance for a triple chest, and a 30% chance for a single chest multiplied with luck. So it's not even likely that we actually get a chest from him. That's great. There's also the reason why we killed him before and he didn't drop any chests, but that means the plan is down the drain. The retaliation could have been good if I could have forced the boss to die. There is another boss at 3 minutes, but do we really want to wait 3 minutes? Well, it's a 3% chance multiplied by 40%. That is roughly 4 point something percent. Like 4.2 or so. Hmm. If I become really desperate, I will revisit that strategy. Just avoiding all the enemies and then just killing the boss at minute 3. Well, if the retaliation damage is enough for that before we die. Oh my god, okay, finally. All it took was 24 minutes. I actually don't think you can see that. Ah, uh, it's fine. Yeah, that was that was not quite pleasant. So what I did was I reset until I get pentagram offered. Then the first blast has to kill, not nuke, so the gem stays there. And then I run to the left side, so no matter what the second blast does, I will get the gem and a bit of experience, which is enough to level up. And then I get Pentagram level 3. That means now we are kicking it off with a 25% times 1.4 chance to do this. And that is a lot better. That should be at around 35-ish percent something there. So it's roughly a 1 in 3 that we will get experience. Can't just hope for the best. Like, you don't know what you get. Wait, this should actually go off any moment, right? Oh, no, no, no. It was a bit later, so... No. Okay. Yeah. Usually it goes off at around 50 seconds, but because I upgraded it, it reset the cycle. Let's just wait for the next one. Given the odds, we should have a very good chance that the next time it will be a kill. Hopefully. Look at my big ball of enemies. I love it. Uh, do you go off any moment? It should actually be now. No, 110 to... Yeah, then it's around 2 minutes. Like a couple seconds prior or after. 
hopefully. Please don't take me off this wrong. Oh. Oh, I think what I haven't... No, no, no. Okay, okay. Very good. We did get the experience. If I go for pentagram, please just don't erase. There's so much experience on the... <laughs> I could have gambled on it, but imagine my face. If this would have actually killed and we got all the experience. Oh my god, now I have an even bigger ball. That's not something I expected to say as Christine, you know. So we did upgrade Pentagram and we lowered the cooldown by 10 seconds. Multiplied with uh, 70, um, bam, 3 seconds, so yeah, okay. That should... Uh, wait. That should be... Yeah, no, 250. No, 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 no 255. Uh, roughly. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, okay, there we go. Well, close enough. Keep in mind, we only need one more level up, then we are down to... Oh my god, they deal so much damage, there will be so many more of them spawning. We only need one more level up into it, then we have the 45% chance. Dex, don't forget about your balls, you always talk about your balls, and now you just run away from your balls. Okay, hold on, wait a moment, there we go. Keep them there, very good. No, once we get to 45% chance, multiplied with the 1.4, those are really good odds. Pretty much every second blast, we will expect that we don't erase. Like, what is it? 45% times 1.4, roughly the half added to it, let's say it's 18%. Uh, 50, uh, 65% or so. I think there was a 67.5. Uh, whatever it is, it's very good. <gasps> oh, we got a chest! No, no! Oh... Dex, you are so stupid, you even talked about the vacuum, why did you pick it up now? The problem is, I kind of have to go for the pentagram here. Oh my god, I love you. No! The, the, the vacuum, Dex. The vacuum, and you just keep doing it. Okay, there is an alternative. Yeah, I will just go for Empty Tome. I'm not gonna gamble on this. There is at least a level up in there. So nuking that would be super stupid. Instead, I will just run through all the enemies, die, and start run over again. Good job, Dex. No, but for real, there is a vacuum around the corner. It should be fine. Do I want to wait for the pentagram to go off first? Nah, 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 it will be fine. There we go. Uh, ball, ball, ball. Help. Uh, it should go off any moment. If I can trigger a trap, this would be great. Yeah, of course, no trap. Where's my... Oh, there it is. Okay. Another empty tomb. That is also very valuable. Another empty tomb. Perfect. Wait, how much cooldown reduction? Oh, we have cooldown reduction maxed out. Wait, that means it's now going off every 15 seconds, right? I'm pretty sure. Even on max cooldown... Yeah, yeah, it should be 15 seconds, okay. Well, after the next blast off. There you go. Very nice. A pentagram is actually helping me this time. I'm impressed. Okay, but it's a little bit hard to get the fizzles of experience around here. <laughs> I don't want to use the last vacuum that is here. Not only do I have to walk very far, but it was not a... Ooh. Ouch. Ah, Dex, man. Yeah, so in case you thought it was bad enough for... Oh, wait a second. No! There was a boss! I could have gotten the levels from the chat. Wait, the... is that the... No, no, that's a normal enemy, okay. Jesus Christ, will you ever disappear? <laughs> Leave me alone. Where's the chest? Uh, Up there? I, I guess? Wait, did I... No, they're all shown. I mean, you can't hide chests, up to my knowledge. This is the first time I realized how many ranged guys actually spawn on this stage. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Okay. So, uh, what is this about the 15 seconds? There's no way this is 15 seconds, right? The crown is also kind of important, so I will just go for it. Maybe it would have been better to just go for the pentagram rolls. And if I don't have reroll left, whatever. But I, I think I will need the wake. It will be incredibly important. Okay, hold on, let's do the calculation. Negative 90% cooldown reduction is the highest you can go. After that, it's just visual, doesn't do anything. Pentagram, the base pentagram should have 90 seconds cooldown, right? So multiplied by 0.1, that is 9 seconds. But the minimum that pentagram can reach in the game is 15 seconds. Why is it... or is it? Uh-oh. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. okay. Wait, 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 wait. I might be so close to doing this. I will run down. Pentagram should go off any moment, right? I think. And it should kill them again. Uh, yeah, kill them. Well, hopefully. It's just a chance, but here. Take them. Take them as sacrifice. Oh, perfect. Please go off before they des despawn. Please, Pentagram. Come on, mate. Oh, where are you? What is wrong with the cooldown? Wait, what? Oh, uh, yeah. You erased, of course. 
Wait, but something is really wrong with the cooldown, and now I have floods of enemies. There's another boss. Um... Okay, I will suicide for this. I mean, there was no way of getting out. So the idea is, I will level up, I will level up Pentagram, and then I will kill the boss. I didn't even need that. Oh, perfect. Okay. And then take the chest. There. It's no problem. And now we have a max out Pentagram. The only thing that I need to do now is, I have to run back up and get everything. Now this is important. Ah, do I bet? I will waste one reroll. Pumarola is... is good, right? Yeah, Pumarola should be helpful. Oh, this is not helpful. This is not helpful at all. Crown, sure, okay. Uh, crown again, okay. Oh, yeah, come on. I have to get there before 8 minutes. I, I don't know why I'm just saying I have to. Oh, uh, wait. Are the assassin skeletons spawning at 8 minutes? No, that would be really bad for me. Oh, that would be incredibly bad. Nah, there's no way. Okay, nice. It has an incredibly low chance to erase now. I think the chance to kill is 97.5%. We would need to be incredibly unlucky that it goes off. And, and usually that means it will now go off and erase the chest. <laughs> Imagine that would actually happen. I would be so mad. There are the assassin skeletons. Okay. There's the chest. Oh my god, we got it. Okay. So to understand what we have to do now is survive. <laughs> That's it. Well, that's it. It's easy to say, you know. Um, this should give us a ton- Oh, no, 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 Why did I trigger the trap? Is it actually attacking the balls? Huh. Interesting. Thank you. Empty Tomb is totally useless. I guess I will go for it, just because I don't want to waste it on anything else. I will get the Attract Orb. I know there's one on the stage, but I just want to get to Limit Break. Like, I don't care about anything else. Uh oh Well, I care about surviving, okay? But that means I have to get to Limit Break. And there we go. More Crown. Very good. It's kicking off already again. Like, it's a very fast... Oh my god. That just scared me. Oh, uh, Crown, sure. I would really like to have Armor. The main problem is that it deals so much damage. Okay, there we go. Nice. I might even go for Hollow Heart here. Armor, Hollow Heart. Does that sound good? Is there anything else I would want? I guess one level of Tiragisu would be good. Okay, Hollow Heart and Armor. Um, yeah, that is really bad now. Ah, uh, the next time. Uh oh. Next time. Oh my god. <laughs> and the worst part is I might still lose. I have double Tiragisu, no Empty Tome, I just got Crown, Pentagram level 8, and a 4 minute moon. Oh my god. So remember the last strategy, where I decided to go for level up on Pentagram right away. Oh, this is entirely... This is good because we gain 10% on revivals. Okay, let's go for it. Yeah, so it was Pentagram on level 1 to level 2. And then I would need a kill, so I get the gem and some experience, level it up, have it level 3. Yeah, I did exactly this, <laughs> except I did it until it was level 5. So every single time it didn't kill the enemies, I would just reset. <laughs> I had a couple of runs that got further in. Not a single one was this good, by the way. Like, the furthest I got was around 11 minutes, I think. It's not worth showing because all that happened was me running around like a chicken, and I still didn't have moon at that time. And the main problem in that run was chests, by the way. There we go. Uh, crown? No, I will go for Hollow Heart. I haven't died yet. That means we have incredible value with Hollow Heart. Uh, should I just run over to the armor? I could do it. I could also just wait for the boss here. Oh, that is amazing. Maybe he will even give us a triple chest. I think the triple chest is a 10% chance. Uh, yeah, I think the panda is a 3. Triple, 10, multiplied with 40%, 14%. That's decent. I really need Empty Tomb though, this is horrible. Okay, come come on, hit him, there, oh, perfect, yes! Uh, I should have waited for Empty Tomb actually. <laughs> I kind of hope to get Crown for more experience right before the blast. That would have been great, but I guess not. Okay, it's fine, game, it's fine. Did I really not get a single Crown? Wow, that is impressive. And why do I even have a Drake Orb? Ah, because I didn't want to reroll. Yeah, the rest was like Stone Mask or so. 
The nice part about Moon is, you exactly know what's happening when. Since you hear the ding, yeah, this one. Like, you know exactly what's happening, so you can prepare a ball of enemies. Ooh, careful. There we go. And summon in. Oh my god, this will be good. Ah, uh, no, 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 don't get them on the screen. There we go. Oh, 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 perfect. And empty tome. They should even. Oh. Um. Okay, that did work out quite well, but I'm really scared for the future, I gotta say. So the question of the day is, do I want to go for Armor, or do I want to go for Pomorola? You might scream, go for Pomorola, it's a free slot and you can get the Armor, but keep in mind, that will cost us 5 level ups for Pomorola, if we do that. And I think I rather want to go to the Limit Break, right? Yeah. Okay, careful. Uh, I could have made a bigger ball. Oh, that was perfect. Okay. Oh, that is not perfect. Ah, Pumarula. It would go up to 1.5 HP per second. That is a valid point. But it's four level ups that I waste. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is really... I will die. Yeah, the boss had to go to the top there. Could have went anywhere else, you know. Help, 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 help. Ouch. Oh, that hurt so much. There's a moon. Um, how important? Yeah, I will just take you. There we go. Another triple chest! Oh my god. Okay, double crown, empty tome, four or five. Let me check that in a moment. I first have to make sure that it's worth. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Let me quickly get this. There we go. Ooh, they chase me. Okay. Nice. Okay. I wanted to have the armor as an option here. It's more important than crown. There we go. Oh. There we go. Now I have to go to the wings and get them. The wings are honestly debatable, and if I would redo this, I would just drop the track door, but as I said, I had no option. The wings are kind of debatable, but I think they will be very beneficial when I have to evade the enemies, like run through them. That should be very helpful there. Okay, let's ball them up. There we go. Oh! Wait, that's a free chest! Oh, thank you! Oh, that's perfect! There! And... Oh my god, that was... Wait... Okay, I have only one left, right? Yeah, one left. Armor. Limit break. Oh, you could have given me limit break, you know. Wait, there's the next moon. Wait, it just happened. What changed? Wait, what? That is so much faster than before. Okay. Um, I think at least. I We can already go for random always. There is only a mount in there. And the best part is, whenever you level up, it will re-trigger moon. So once we get to the point where we level up twice, it's insane. Okay, there we go. Nice. Oh, we, I think we leveled up twice, right? Wait, what? Wait, what? Hey! I... I was pretty sure there was one level up. There's another level up. No! This was changed! That is horrible! You... you didn't fix Limit Break Moon! That is worse! That was the only way how you survive by getting it pop off so many times. Oh no. Well, I mean, I guess it fixes it. <laughs> oh, this is, this is not good. You know what's kind of the funniest part? I, I can't even go for the Guardian. Like, I kind of plan to go for the healing, but I can't really go for it since I can never kill him. Does this matter? Like, do I need to kill him? Hmm... I could also just forever run away from him, yeah. Wait, that means it doesn't even really matter to level up? Well, wait, why is the cooldown now so long? It should be 15 seconds. Oh, something is really wrong with this weapon in this patch. <laughs> what? Okay... Oh, 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 oh my god, oh my god, that will be big. Oh, big chungus. Oh, there, there's still a lot left. Oh my god. I mean, if I would have known this, I would have went for Pumarola. <laughs> like, obviously. Wow, it just gets ignored. I can't believe it. That is insane. Oh, no. Okay. I should be able to get through. There we go. Oh, they deal so much damage. I have to evade them. Uh, I want to have Awake. It will give us bonus HP, but especially armor. I have two revivals left, that means I only lost one. We will go up to five and get five armor. That is very valuable. Is there anything else that I would value more than awake? Um... 
Retaliation could be interesting. Yeah. Wait, that could be really good now. So do I want to go for Retaliation first, and then Awake, or the other way around? Well, I don't have a lot of HP, right? Then I would want to have Awake first. Okay, okay, we have a plan, I think. Ooh, this is really... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Blast, perfect, immediately taking it. So while this Arcana here only builds up empty HP that we don't really care about... Oh, this is so good though. Should I just go for it? Yeah, okay, I will do it. I have 8 armor. If this is not enough to survive, then I don't know what. And it also allows me to kill the enemies, so they can't deal multiple amounts of damage to me when I run through. Like this, they get bumped away. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is a lot better. And that means once we get to Awake, we get bonus percentage HP based on the Retaliation Arcana. And we're already up to 170 here, which is not a lot, you know. I don't really want to farm HP. All I want really is stay alive. Okay. Okay, careful. Oh, I'm really fast. I am really, really fast. Perfect. There we go. This is a little bit sad that... Oh my god, okay. Um, um, that is unexpected. Ooh. That also means do I even want to level up? <laughs> it will just make the retaliation harder to one-shot them. Hmm. Good question. I don't know. Well, well. Jesus, this is something else. At least no stalker spawned. Well, yeah, it would have been a chest, but we can't do anything with the chest. There we go. Let me just get that. Triple chest, very nice. Everyone happy that I picked it up? I hope so. Just checked if I'm actually recording. <laughs> I would have been so sad. Okay. This is such a weird fix. I don't know if I like that. I mean, I guess it means it can't break anymore. What else are you supposed to do? But that was like the best part, that you would get multiple triggers out of, um, out of the, the, the <laughs> come on, what is its name? Multiple triggers out of Moon, yes. George's Glorious Moon. Now I kind of feel like I want to have the arrow. Yeah, I will risk it for the biscuit. We will just have to deal with the Guardian somehow, which means we won't do anything. Because we can't break the breakables, and that means we can't get an NFT. This is really a good idea, Dex. Oh, ouch. There we go. Very not nice, not nice, not nice, not nice. There we go. Oh, why is this so flooded? How am I even supposed to survive minute 29 then? Like, I have to be incredibly tanky. That is a revival loss that would have given me bonus stats. But, like, I would have wasted so much bonus HP. So, to understand, we are now at 97 HP, half of our max health. It's it's good, you know, it's not bad. I'm starting to regret this a lot. Uh, okay, there we go. I gotta be honest, I think the old moon would have been better. <laughs> Just call it a day once it breaks. Give up. Just say you achieved it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I don't know how to do this. I will need the healing. I don't want to do this again for Pomorola. I don't know why Moon can't destroy the breakables. For me, that only makes sense. There we go. Is there anything else on the stage I could... Oh my god, I got stuck. Where was my step bro? Now, is there anything on the stage that I could benefit from? I don't think so. Can this protect me? No, it can't. That was the answer. Okay, there's the arrow. I will probably de oh I took so much damage there that was stupid. I will probably deeply regret this in the future, especially because I can't reset it now via level up. And while it's sad that it's only one, at least it's immediately set off. Um, yeah. And all that for 0 0.8 HP regeneration. Pomerula would have been one. You know that's better. I guess I also get bonus HP. How many revivals do I have? As you might notice, I didn't really consider this becoming a problem to survive. <laughs> oh, this is really not good. Oh my god, you can't kill this boss with Moon. No, you gotta be kidding me. Really? That means now I have the Guardian after me and the- Oh my god, okay, th th this is over. 
Yes, of course it's a penta chest. Yeah, I'm, I'm really far behind, six and a half minutes. At least this time I can be happy about it. The one thing I want to note, if this run here fails, and I did pick up Pumarula, but I will pick up the armor next, because there's nothing that we need in the game. If this run fails, I will switch back to the live version and do it with the multiproc moon. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, interesting. That is really interesting. That is insane. I mean, I can't complain about it. I think that actually maxed out everything, didn't it? Uh, let's see. Yeah, everything is maxed out. That is insane. Uh oh. As well as my nerves. <laughs> they are also maxed out. <laughs> the only reason why I hesitate changing over to the live version. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? There we go. <laughs> Oh, that was amazing. I will go for Divine Bloodline again. I had two thoughts. One, first awake. But to be honest, Divine Bloodline is what kept us alive by bumping away the enemies. And with awake, sure, we would get some bonus stats, but it wouldn't help us a lot. I also considered Zeraband and Game Killer. Zeraband doubles the healing and deals the damage around you, while Game Killer converts your experience into projectiles and attacks the enemies. Now I gotta be fully honest, I'm just not sure if that would have been a lot of fun to just stand there and shoot projectiles. Maybe it would have been, maybe it wouldn't have been, I don't know. I think if you have a weapon like Moon, then it's more fun to go for as many levels as possible. But I might also be entirely wrong, and the way to go would have been Game Killer. Though that means we can't re-trigger it with level ups, but I guess it doesn't matter too much here, right? Yeah. I will try to give some commentary from time to time like now, but it's honestly really difficult. Especially without a wake, we have no way of scaling. I thought about it and I think I will go for Game Killer. The only real issue with Game Killer is... What do we do once we shoot out the load that we get from Moon, like when nothing is around and it shoots everything out, what do we do then? <laughs> you know, we're just sitting there, we, we don't have any experience left. So that is where I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, I, I'm really hesitating if I should go for Game Killer and use the bonus experience as something positive, like use the mechanic to blast away the enemies, or if I should just try to go for a wake an attempt to get to an incredible high amount of HP. And the thing is, look at our HP right now. Getting 10% on that is a lot. So both of them could be a lot of fun in my eyes. It's just very difficult to say. Oh, by the way, the funny part is, a very simple way, or let me get that. Just in case I go for Game Killer, I want to make sure I have that. A very funny way to get up our HP is, watch this, walking into the bullets. Okay, that one didn't increase it. There we go. There, do you see that? We got one bonus HP. Well, we needed two, 0.5 each. But the problem is that he has so much damage, I can't really do that. But it does work, because they do count as destroyed enemies, I guess? Yeah. It's funny because I never really viewed them this way. They're technically speaking, they are just enemies that spawn and move into one direction, and then they despawn, yeah, okay. <laughs> There's Poseidon again. This time we are definitely far better off, like, as long as I get to the Arcana, we can make a decision there, and I'm sorry, but I'll have to make a 50-50 decision, like, I can't go for both. If I could, I would go for Wake and for Game Killer, but I guess that is also kind of pointless then. Yeah. Like, one is meant to be making us strong enough that we can just survive the enemies and keep blasting them away. The other one is meant to use the game mechanic of the weapon and use it against the enemies, I'm just not sure. Okay, so let's go through this, okay? So imagine we have Game Killer right now. Uh, we would be shooting at the enemies with some bullets. That is actually fairly decent. Hmm. And with the amount of level ups that we have right now, we still have the bonuses on the moon. Yeah, that could be really interesting. I don't know. It's hard to say. I can't even one-shot them with the retaliation arcana. Oh my god. I never thought this would become a problem, but Gorgeous Moon is actually just covering up the entire screen while I have to run away. Oh, I took so much damage walking into the Poseidon there. 
Yeah, this is not great. The only good part is, we do have a lot of healing, look at this. 2.3, that is a decent amount, but 2.3 per second? As long as the enemies deal as much damage as they do, it doesn't outheal their occasional damage. This is why I would like to have Awake, but uh, I don't know if it will be enough against really strong enemies. Oh my god, I walked into Poseidon again. <laughs> uh, it's just I don't have a lot of choice where I can go. Like, I have to go for spots that are semi-empty, like there's always one enemy somewhere. Uh, I can't believe the moon is actually working against me. Like, if it wouldn't blast away the enemies, I wouldn't have these problems. Okay. Oh my god. Two minutes, then we get awake. Or game killer. I don't know if I mentioned it, but at least with the Bloodline Arcana, it was not possible to stand next to the breakables. And when I get attacked, that they would get destroyed, it, nothing happened. Maybe it would work with Heart of Fire, but I don't think it's an AoE, right? Or is it? Oh, that is a... Oh, that would have been in... <sighs> I took a moment to think. Okay, that was my last revival. Okay, I will just shut up now. <laughs> You're gonna be kidding me, eh? This is near impossible. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, okay. By the way, we got more HP from the Bloodline Arcana than we would have gotten from an entire Awake. Just as a note. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So, I have a run going. It's working out. Obviously, he shows up. Wait a second. Oh, I can actually use him. Um, how do I get to him, though? I need to get the chest before I get the experience. Like this. Okay. There we go. Okay, well, it's it's one safe level up, you know. I am playing on the live version right now, that means we will have the multi pop off, but if it breaks, then it breaks, okay? That's just how it is. However, I do want to go for one thing, which is Wicked Season. Yes, I will waste another attempt. Wait, what? What are you doing there? That was weird. I will waste another attempt just to go for Wicked Season. I want to check out how it works with the growth doubling, if maybe this will make us pop off like crazy, so even when the curse is doubled we can easily deal with it, and then I will just reset, you know, if it fails. The problem is we have to get to a point where we constantly pop off like doom, 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 well maybe not that frequent, but almost. And uh, the reason being, once we get to the super difficult enemies, they will nuke me otherwise. But do you see how much easier it is already? Like, I barely have to do anything. And there we go, and there we go, and there we go. <laughs> Isn't this a lot more fun? I actually would prefer if it wouldn't get fixed, I gotta be honest. This is so much more fun. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I, I, for real. However, I do notice a problem. Most of the times now, I only get a single level up. I definitely have to do something. If this would keep going like this, I would just die. It's pretty much exactly the same result that we had in the last attempt. Um, no, do you see that? Only one level up, yeah. Oh, I wonder how many level ups we will get here. This could be worth two. Um, no, still not, okay. Despite all the enemies, really? Uh, there was one. Oh my god, my rerolls. There's Wicked Season. I will just take it. Now it's doubled. I really wonder how much we will get out of this now. Okay, let's check it. Oh my god, that was so much better already. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, do you like it? Do, do you like it? Because I love it. Oh my god. We should have went with this from get-go. Wait, would that have worked? No, they would have killed me. Oh, but this is amazing. How will I deal with the boss? How will I deal with the boss that can't be nuked? Oh no. Um, what did I just cause here? It's good, thanks. All is good. I guess the only way to deal with the boss is I have to hide behind a wall and hope that he gets stuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on here? Hey, th there's... Wh wh what? 
Why is it still failing? Wait, what? Do I have to do this on the library, maybe? I mean, I thought about the library. The only reason why I didn't want it is because... Oh my god, this is horrible. Yeah, if, if this doesn't keep going, do I maybe have to move? To split them apart a little bit? Um... Oh, this is really not good. I don't want to do it without curse. I'm gonna say this ahead of time. Without curse, we could have easily done it. In fact, we would have easily done it here without Wicked Season. The reason is just a multi-proc. It wouldn't always happen, but it would always start prior to where it was before. Okay, there's a revival. Ugh, right, I forgot the, the controller is not fixed here. I think the curse is about to happen. Um... Yeah, I, I mean... I don't know what to do. It's funny how broken it was for a moment, and afterwards it was completely useless. Yeah, this is like, I don't know. I don't want to do it without the curse. Oh. I mean, I did say I would allow Laurel, right? I'm gonna give up here. Like, the thing is we clear them more or less until the curse is around and then there's no more escape. My hope was that we would have enough blasts to deal with them. It's just not frequent enough. Like, sometimes it is, yes, most of the times it's not. I think we deserve a rewarding ending to this. So, I will kill this guy, I will get Moon, and then we will go absolutely bonkers on the library. This is still on the live version, so if you want to do this, do this ASAP before the patch comes out, otherwise you will have the other version that we had seen. And now I will just wait for Wicked, and then I will just do some cut-ins where we go absolutely bonkers. Maybe whenever growth is active, where we get so many level ups. Pretty much to understand, we have so much cooldown reduction that the invulnerability from LOL is long enough that we simply can't take damage. That means we can just look at this and enjoy. Well, once we get Wicked and get the growth up, you know. Wow, that was a snipe for the Arcana chest. <laughs> that was the very first pop-off. Okay, there's Wicked, perfect. We have enough rerolls, because I plan to do something special. We will leave one Arcana chest behind, and just for fun, we will bombard or try to bombard the Reaper with Game Killer. Okay, so I think the plan is understandable. We will keep it there at 30 minutes, I will pick up Game Killer. We just pray that one moon is going off there, that gives us all the experience, and then we go bonkers. Note though, there's a very high chance that it will go off prior and not work properly, but I'll give it a try. And there we go, we reach limit break territory. So this is where it should go a little bit bonkers. Let's see how many level ups we get here. Oh, do we get this in time? Please. The timing doesn't matter, honestly. Ah, uh, because it will be triggers. Oh my god, th I think those were three triggers already. Yeah, this will be interesting. By the way, this is just the next growth rotation right now. <laughs> like, the great part is, even when I don't have the growth doubling, I at least get one level. Okay, or here I get three levels, I mean, sure. And it just keeps going. It doesn't stop. It's hilarious that the Guardians can't die to it. They will just continuously get attacked from it. But yeah, this is what it looks like right now. And I think the best part about it is, you could have probably done this entirely. No, you couldn't. I wanted to say you could have done this without Laurel, but for that it doesn't go off frequent enough. Or maybe it does. Wait, look at this. So for a while the enemies were touching me, but with the revivals... No, they're still touching me. I mean, these are weak, we could have out healed that. Yeah, let's just do some theory crafting here. Oh, this would have hurt a lot. Yeah, this is what I meant, you have these random entire downtimes where you would lose so much HP. And now imagine, this wasn't the spinach heads, but for example the witches at 24 minutes, or even at 16 minutes, they are incredibly powerful, and they will nuke you. Like sure, without curse, you could have made it, but I don't think it's possible with curse. So something very interesting is going on. If you look at the amount of experience that we get whenever it just strikes, this ding, 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 we get so much, right? But when it blasts off and we get this amount of experience, that was that was barely half a level, right? Th something... So, does it only apply to the ding, 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 the bonus experience from the amount? Oh, that is interesting. Yeah, look at this. That was not even a level up, I think. 
might have been wrong. And now look at the experience that we get here. <laughs> the ding ding alone is almost a level up. No, it is a level up. Look at this. And now, how much do we get? Th that was barely a level up. What? I had no idea. Wait, that is so interesting. Okay. Well, that means the blast-offs are actually kind of pointless. Oh. Well. Oh, the more I play with this weapon, the sadder I become. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> Everything today was a disappointment. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Yeah, just look at the amount of level ups I'm getting right now. W watch this, okay? It pops off. Look at this. This is almost one eighth of a level up every single time it makes ding 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 ding. Wow. And then this clicks in and it's like, huh, what? Uh, I, I, I didn't do anything. What? Huh? Hello? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You didn't do anything. It's so hilarious how this entire thing gives half a level and then it makes a little ding 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 and suddenly a full level is there. Like right now, this is the slow one. Now it speeds up. Look at the amount of level ups we get there. And now this happens. Yeah, one level up with the growth doubling. Was this common knowledge? Like, did everyone know about that and I just had no clue this is how it works? I mean, I guess it still makes this way of playing with Moon better. The one where it constantly re-triggers, since you also get this Ding Ding re-triggered all the time. The only problem with the Guardian is, they keep getting targeted by the Moon whenever all the enemies get wiped. But once they are back, they get pushed away and look at the amount of experience we're getting. Uh, look at- do you see these chumps? <laughs> and then this happens here, yeah, well, I one level up. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm annoying because I keep repeating the same stuff, but I'm actually just really excited about this. I had no idea, and I love learning new things, especially about a game that I played so much, and this must have been a thing forever, right? It's like, wow. And there is the Game Killer Arcana, so I think what I will do is, I will pick it up at the end of maybe 29, 55 or so, and then I will run away, and just for fun we'll blast it into the Reaper. Now, bear in mind, there's a chance I mess this up, and second, I don't know how much experience we will get out of that. Like, the thing is- oh wait, I have to move away from this. The thing is the Ding Ding Dings, they seem to give a ton of experience, so I also expect they deal a ton of damage, but the rest of the blast is entirely useless. It almost looks like. Yeah, in comparison that is nothing. I don't even think we will get to a point where we break the moon. <laughs> I just call it moon or pentagram, whatever I feel like. <laughs> no, I don't even think we will get to break the moon. Maybe we will. The thing is there were two states on how pentagram or moon were broken in the past. One, you got too many level ups in total and it would just stop giving you level ups, it would give you the coins or the chicken. Two. It would more or less just sit there for 30 seconds or so, nothing happens, then a huge blast goes off that gives an insane amount of experience, like incredible amount of experience, where you just keep leveling up for like 30 seconds or even more, from normal enemies by the way, like not from really good enemies, and then it would rest again and just wait. Wow, we just got 3 level ups before the blast and then we went to 309. That is, wow. Like, the, the blast itself, only one level up, and before that, three level ups from the ding ding ding. <laughs> How many times do I say ding ding ding? So I kind of expected we would be at a point where we just level up a buttload of times. I think it limits itself now, where even if we get a lot of level ups and it gives us a ton of ding 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 ding, it just blasts off all the time and kills the enemies, so we don't get a ton of experience from the ding ding ding, and that then stops the flow, if that makes any sense. Yeah, that is interesting. Oh. Oh. Well, now we have a third one. You don't even want to leave? Really? So, but that is bad. Because now what could happen is that our moon is just constantly attacking the witch. <laughs> that wastes the attack. Ah, uh, it seems to be going fine. Okay. Yeah, once the enemies flood in like this, we seem to be fine. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of the witch, that she isn't stuck on me and just stand below the piano. Um, yeah, yeah it, it, well. I totally forgot that you can't block her. At 28 minutes, this is where we get to the territory, where half of the enemies drop 30 experience instead of the 3 that we get right now. Ooh, don't pick that up. 
Okay, there's the final boss, well, the last boss that will appear and pollute our ground with a chest. And there it's dead. And now I will head over here. This is our Arcana chest. That means this is... Wait, what? Um, you are the Arcana chest, right? I, I hope so. Oh, don't tell me I messed this up. Oh, please, no. No, that, that must be the Arcana chest, right? Okay. There is so much ding 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 going on right now. You might notice that I'm really really tired or I sound tired or different. I've recorded a lot today. <laughs> I've recorded a lot today and this recording alone went on for 6 hours. It might not look like a lot after you've got to this point of the video, uh, but do you know what the odds were to get everything working out multiple times? Uh, yeah, near zero. <laughs> <sighs> okay, ding 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 me more please. There we go. Oh, nice. Amazing. Come on, get going. Wait. No, 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 I have multiples going on. I was like, wait, is it stop? No, no, no. It's going on, yeah, now ding. And then it's ding. Uh, but it's, it's not as much as I hoped for. Something is weird. I don't know what exactly. Like, there's one level up. Okay, there's another one, there's another one. There's another one, there, there are a lot more. Where... Where are all of my moons? Wait, what? I got cheated. And we already know we are not playing on the beta right now. Okay, but that is not according to what we are seeing. So, I think it's time that I pick it up. Might be the wrong time, okay? It is what it is. Let's do it. Oh, th this is it, right? Yeah, that is Game Killer. Welcome. Okay. Um. Are you kidding me? Why did it entirely stop? <laughs> this is my worst video I've ever made. And that means a lot. Yay, gorgeous moon. You're amazing. <laughs> Imagine this. 512k just with like one or two gems. We could have dealt so much damage. I'm sorry guys. <laughs>